welcome to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you can be notified for all my new videos. If you have already been here before, thank you so much for returning. Today we are doing a July 2019 pick a card reading. So it is a prediction reading asking what can you expect to come to you in July 2019. So real quick before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos. My recent video, Are They The One? This pick a card video right here, recently hit over a thousand views. So I just wanted to give all of you a really big shout out and say thank you so much for watching. I also wanted to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I recently had almost doubled the amount of subscribers I have. So I wanted to say thank you so much to all of you who watched my videos and liked my content and decided to subscribe. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Also, I want to say thank you to all the people who are taking the time out of their day to like and especially comment on my videos. Commenting means so much to me. It is sometimes a little nerve-wracking just sitting in front of the camera doing tarot or just talking about spirituality or astrology and it is something that can feel a little awkward when you're first starting out so I really appreciate everyone taking the time to comment and then letting me know how the readings resonated with them what they think of my content and overall just let me know how I'm doing and what they think so thank you so much for all the comments make sure that you continue to comment if you haven't ever you know left a comment on my video before and maybe you wanted to but you just decided not to please please do I love to talk to you I'd love to hear from you so make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think also if you have some content that you want to see or some questions that you want answered you know maybe there's a pick a card that you've been wanting uh, maybe me to do make sure you comment and let me know I'm always happy and open to your guys's suggestions so I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the views, all the love, and all the support. And let's jump into your July 2019 prediction reading. So we have five groups for you to choose from, and this is going to be group one, group two, group three, group four, and group five. If you are new to pick a card readings and, or have never done a pick a card reading before, just take a second to pick the pile that stands out the most to you, the one that sparks your intuition. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a second to decide if you need to pause the video. If you want a little longer, feel free to do so. All right, and let's get started with group number one. All right, group number one. Let's get into your July 2019 reading. So first up, we have Friendship, the Eight of Cups reversed, the Magician reversed, the Knight of Wands reversed, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Pentacles. So, what is coming for Group 1 in July 2019? So I feel like for you guys, there is definitely some spiritual work that you may have been neglecting to do because we have the Eight of Cups reversed. The Eight of Cups reversed is oftentimes about neglecting our spiritual side and living more from our earthly and desire side. And so this card says to me that right now you really need to make sure that you take the time to become spiritually aligned. And another reason I say that is because we have the magician reverse. And the magician traditionally is all about manifesting any of your desires, right? And so if you have the magician reverse, you're not able to manifest at the level that you normally would be able to. And so you're not actually manifesting manifesting things that you want, you're going to be manifesting things that you actually don't desire that work against you. And so the thing that needs to happen so your manifestation cap can be on right is you need to do some internal work and you need to have that spiritual journey and really understand where your desires are 
coming from and understand that they need to be coming from a pure high vibrational place because if you are manifesting from a place of good intent and higher vibrations then you're going to have unintended consequences with those manifestations and one of the things that you're going to have to realize is that you may be someone who really rushes into things you aren't patient enough when you need to be and you really need to be thinking about the long-term consequences you need to think be thinking about who are you who do you want to be and what do you want your life to be and you need to make sure that you're really balancing all aspects of your life so yes you can fulfill your material desires and your wishes but you need to make sure that you are still respecting your spiritual side and coming from a high vibrational place and that you're not entirely functioning from earthly desires and I feel like in July 2019 you're really going to be finding a switch and because we have the high priestess you're really going to be waking up to your intuition and really getting in tune with your emotions and you're really going to start to do some internal work that gets you more in touch with that spirituality that you have been lacking previously so i feel like july 2019 is going to be a time where you wake up and you're like okay i see where i've been lacking previously and now i want to transition into a new way of being and a new sense of spirituality and a new way of looking at the world the thing that you need to realize is when you start to vibrate higher and you start to become more self-aware and you start to look at yourself critically then you know you start to you start to look at the people in your environment and also you know your home your workplace and the relationships that you have and you will start to see did little things that you didn't notice before because you are becoming more self-aware and you are realizing what you want your life to be and where it does not where your life right now is lacking and how it needs to change and so in july 2019 you may be coming to this realization that you're actually slightly discontented with where you are right because we have the seven of pentacles you have tons of things to appreciate and you have plenty plenty to harvest but you need to make sure that really taking the time to be appreciative and you know not just jumping into so much your material lens and then figuring out later that it's not fulfilling for you and you need that sense of spirituality realizing early on that to be truly abundant and to be truly fulfilled you need to have a balance of all and i feel like in july 2019 that's really going to be a time when you start to open yourself up to new ideals i feel like you might find a new mindset in 2019 and you might really start to transform the way that you've been thinking and because we have the friendship Card, one of the things that might inspire you to do so is newfound friendship maybe a new relationship in your life is really inspiring you and the way that you've been looking at the world and now you want to start to change you know not only your spiritual side but your emotional side as well you really want to open yourself up and really expand yourself and when you do that you're going to be able to manifest at your highest ability and actually appreciate the work that you're producing because the seven of the seven of pentacles to me says that there is plenty of opportunity for you that will continue to be there you just need to really take advantage of it and one of the things that's going to help you take advantage of this opportunity is having a more balanced approach to your life so if you like this reading and you'd like to see some more pick a card readings for me please give it a thumbs up if this reading resonated with you or if it did not leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you aren't subscribed already hit that subscribe button so i can see you next time and thank you so much for tuning in Right, group number two welcome to your july 2019 pick a card reading let's see what we got so we have success and harvest then we have the wheel of fortune the three of pentacles reverse queen of wands reverse ace of pentacles and the emperor all right group number two this is actually a really exciting reading for you so in july 2019 the first thing that's coming for you is karma baby and don't be scared it's eclipse season and every reading i've done so far because between me and you group two i actually did the readings backwards today so i started with five and then went to one when i was recording um but anyway all the readings so far have been like major change and transformation and i swear it's because eclipse season is starting in 
well, you're going to watch this on July 1st, and it will be eclipse season the very next day on July 2nd. So, eclipse season is coming for us so, so soon, and that means major changes coming, and changes coming for you in July 2019, and it's so exciting. So, let's talk about what kind of change that is. So, because we have the Wheel of Fortune, something unexpected is going to pop up for you and you need to be open to whatever that is and in the moment it may seem something that is negative because things that are unexpected we don't plan for them and so anything that just like takes us by surprise would be like oh no i don't know i don't like that but you actually need to be open to possibly some of the negative things that are happening to you right now because the universe is actually working in your favor. And I get the sense that you may have been having some conflict or negativity or just maybe like a general feeling of just like, ugh, you know, just like kind of like a slowdown in your energy. And we have the three of pentacles and you may even been having some kind of conflict at work or you could be having conflict at home with your mother figure or with a feminine figure. So you could be having issues within your relationship or maybe with a friend. But regardless, I feel like you've been feeling kind of stagnant and stuck and just not very motivated in general. And one of the reasons I think that could be is because you're not feeling very fulfilled in your work and you're not really feeling like you know what your purpose is and what you want your purpose to be. And I feel like for you, you're probably someone who is really interested in creating something for yourself and you just need, and you're really, I feel like you have that work ethic and you're willing to put in a lot of hard work. You're just feeling right now that you don't know necessarily what is that thing that you really want to drive and jump for. And one of the things that I feel like is holding you back are your own fears. I feel like you're probably scared and inhibiting yourself from literally living to your fullest potential. and. That's something that everyone struggles with, that everyone has to take the time to get over. But for you, that is really the only thing hindering you is that little negative voice that's questioning you in the back of your mind. And if you really silence that voice, you're really going to, let's see if I can pick it up because my nails, you're really going to be able to find success in July 2019. And another reason I say that is because we have the Ace of Pentacles. And so you're going to be having new ideas and new opportunities that are really going to set the foundation for your future success. So in July 2019, you may be coming across something that finally gives you that motivation you've been looking for. You may find something that finally pushes you and gives you that passion and that drive that you've been searching for for so long. And the Ace of Pentacles, like all Ace cards, is all about new beginnings. But because it's in the Pentacles, it's about new beginnings that involve our material, our wealth, and oftentimes our career. And so for you, you may find a new job or you may be start working on a new new creative uh, enterprise. Maybe you're working on a side hustle, a uh, entrepreneurial endeavor, whatever it may be, you're going to start putting your time and effort into something that you actually value, something that you actually want to put your energy into. And when you're actually working on something that breeds positive emotion from you and doesn't just stagnate and create that negative that negative energy within you you will actually find so like your work won't be so like mediocre or just so basic or just baseline anymore when you're actually putting your emotion and putting your passion into your work then that really shows everyone can see it in your product and in the service that you offer to people and so for you because we have emperor card you're really going to be working hard to build that foundation. You're really going to be becoming the master. You're going to be knowledgeable. You're going to be the leader, right? And so we have the harvest card. And so you really need to make sure that in July 2019, you're really taking the time to harvest those karmic opportunities that are coming to you so you can really find the success 
that the universe is trying to bring you. And so you really need to, you know, not let the negativity or the low vibration environments that are surrounding you get the better of you. And you need to stay true to your vision and really open yourself up to the opportunities because the universe is trying to bring you karmically those new beginnings. And of course, there's always a few bumps in the road before we can get to where we're going because anything worth having doesn't come without one a little sacrifice and two a little hard work and so for you you are, have been putting in that hard work and you're going to probably are obviously going to have to continue to do so but you're going to find in July 2019 that those sacrifices are actually going to be working out in your favor and you're actually going to start feeling the benefit and the positive motivation from them so group two if you enjoyed this reading and you want to see more pick a cards make sure you give this video a thumbs up if this resonated with you or if it did not leave a comment down below please let me know what you thought and if you aren't subscribed already hit that subscribe button so i can see you next time at my next video have a good one all right group three welcome to your july 2019 reading let's see what we got for you so first up we have destiny we have the ace of cups reversed the five of wands reversed Four of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups, and the Empress. All right, group three. I feel like July 2019 is going to really be a period of turnaround for you. I feel like you are probably someone who is a bit emotional. You might be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or have those planets, but the problem that has been going on for you is probably a mental game that has that you've been dealing with and so some of you might struggle with depression some of you might struggle with anxiety some of you may have been going through a breakup or just you know really struggling with past pains or hurts that have been going on because we have the ace of cups reverse and we have the four of swords reverse it really says that there is a wound that needs to be addressed or some kind of illness that needs to be addressed and that could be like something mentally that isn't fully in place so maybe your thinking isn't as positive as it needs to be you know maybe you're functioning off of limiting beliefs self-destructive habits maybe physically there's something that needs to be addressed maybe physically you haven't been feeling well and you need to take better care of yourself physically regardless of what it has been I feel like mostly it's been emotional so I feel like lately has been a time of emotional turmoil like maybe there was a lot of fighting that was going on but i feel like july 2019 is going to be a time where that finally fades into the past because we have the five of wands reversed it really says that you're going to be able to move on from the past strife and struggle and conflict that you were going through and the one thing that you really need to make sure that you're addressing in July 2019 because we have the four of swords reverse is you really need to make sure that in July 2019 you're really taking the time to do self-care so you really need to be taking care of your mental health making sure that you're having positive 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 beliefs about yourself about the world around you make sure you're distracting and breaking down those limiting beliefs make sure you're not living out self-destructive habits and patterns look at your generational karma really get to the root of why you know you act and think and behave a certain way and then that'll really help you understand yourself and really help you become the person that you want to become and I feel like in July 2019 that is just what you're going to be doing I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of reflection a lot of healing work because we have the Queen of Cups I feel like you're really going to be getting in tune with your emotions instead of you know fearing them repressing them and then letting them bubble up and boil over later you're going to be taking the time to really get in tune with your emotions understand them forgive yourself come from a place of empathy and compassion and not come from a place of shame and you know making you know feel making yourself feel guilty or bad for the things that you might have said done thought in the past and because you are really taking the time to heal yourself and really 
heal those past wounds and heal those past traumas, we have the Empress card. So you're really going to be walking into a period of abundance. And this is emotional abundance and this is material abundance. It is also the card of being fulfilled. And so you won't be feeling as down and distraught as you were before because you're actually taking the time to emotionally heal yourself. And because you're taking the time to heal yourself again and get in tune with your emotional side, you're going to start seeing that you're in intuition picks up that you're actually getting you know more psychic that you're seeing more signs that you're actually understanding why things are the way that they are when you get in tune with your emotions you can become more empathetic and then the things that you went through don't hurt you as bad because you can better understand what why people act the way they act and that nine times out of ten it actually has nothing to do with you and it is in hundred and it's entirely about them so in July 2019 by really healing your heart not only are you going to be able to feel more emotionally fulfilled you're also going to be helping your wallet and you're going to be feeling more abundant all around because we have the empress card and the empress is also a very mothering energy right it's very nurturing it's very healing it's the venus card and so it is also about fulfilling your desires and so you may be looking you know in the past to fill your heart and fill those wounds with you know outside sources such as you know temporary lovers temporary relationships you know maybe going out partying finding friendships that weren't fulfilling and so i feel like in july 2019 you're really going to be turning your viewpoint around and really looking at the kind of love that you want and focusing on manifesting and attracting that and i feel like this emotional process that you're going through is really really key for you because we have the destiny card and it also has the number eight on it which is the, the number of karma and so this emotional development that you're going through right now is actually very karmic and it is actually key for your development to your highest path in becoming your highest self so i feel like in july 2019 group three you're really going to be seeing a turnaround in your mentality and in your mental health and it's really going to help bring abundance and manifest beautiful things and beautiful blessings into your life so if you like this reading and you want to see more pick a card readings give it a thumbs up go ahead and leave me a comment if this reading resonated or if it did not also leave a comment if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time thank you so much okay we have group number four let's see what we got so we have health joy so we have the ace of swords reversed the king of cups reversed seven of pentacles i don't know how to count six of pentacles reversed ace of wands i forgot how many extra cards you guys had come out okay we got ace of swords reversed king of cups reversed six of pentacles reversed ace of wands Seven of Wands, King of Wands Reverse, Knight of Pentacles, and Six of Wands. Okay, group number four. I feel like July 2019 is going to be a time of change for you guys. I feel like right now things have been kind of building up for you, and I feel like July is going to kind of break and release a lot of tension that's been going on for you, which figures because eclipse season is starting. But we have the let's go ahead and jump into your reading so we have if i can pick it up we have ace of swords reverse and so the ace of swords reverse is very much about taking the wrong direction or not really believing in yourself the way that you need to and really about having ideas but not really putting them into action or putting them into play the, the way that you need to. And it could also be to me because swords is about communication and words. It could also be to me that your throat chakra isn't completely functioning at its healthiest level that your voice might be being like your power and your voice might being suppressed and you're not 
being able to openly communicate the way that you need to and we have the king of cups reversed and so when the king of cups shows up reversed you know to me it says that emotions are probably kind of out of line right now you're probably not feeling the most secure in yourself you're not feeling the most happy you're not feeling the most loved and also there could be negative influences that are in your life that are you know taking their toll on you emotionally another possibility could also be of course negative self-talk so you could be having a negative influence because of you know the way your thought patterns have been and one of the reasons that could be is because we have the six of pentacles reverse you know maybe you just like a, a lot of us struggle with self-worth and really feeling of value and a lot of that could relate back to you know childhood conditioning and how you were treated as a child and a lot of a a lot of people are not really given the amount of love that is actually needed and just due to our experiences there's little things that can make us you know feel ashamed of ourselves and we can feel bad and guilty and also we can be embarrassed of what other people think about us and what other people have to say about us and all of those can start cycles of shame that of course tear down our confidence and our ability to love ourselves and so you may be someone who has been really struggling to try and you know find your confidence and really find that inner oomph and that inner love for yourself and really do some healing work and really try and find yourself and I feel like July 2019 is really going to be a, a point in your life where you really start to see a turnaround so the the like overall feeling I got for this reading was the feeling like you feel in your life like you've been really suppressed or your power's really been taken from you like for some reason you feel like you haven't been able to really be who you want to be in your life and I feel like July 2019 is really going to be a time when you begin to take your power back and the reason I say that is because we have the ace of wands and of course all ace cards are about new beginnings but with the ace of wands because it is the fire card it is also about newfound spirituality newfound energy newfound life newfound inspiration and so for you you're really going to be finding something in july 2019 that brings you passion that revitalizes you that gives you motivation and really draws your interest and makes you want to change and change the trajectory of your life and really change the way that you've been feeling about yourself and you may find something that really gives you confidence and gives you purpose in july 2019 and when you find this you know you may face some conflict because we have the seven of one you know like i said i have got the general feeling like the vibe of being suppressed and not really being allowed to be who you truly are and so you may be coming to figure out who you are because also the ace of wands is also about a newfound sense of spirituality and so maybe you've been getting more into spirituality and maybe discovering yourself doing more internal work self-reflection and really working on your root issues and that childhood conditioning that we all have to overcome and really doing that shadow work and you've really been getting to know and really love and accept and forgive yourself and now you're really opening up your intuition and you're opening up your spirituality and you're believing in you know the divine and you're believing in in having faith and you know you want to manifest a better life for yourself and you want to manifest a new way of beginning and July 9, 2019 could really be a time for you when you want to start to put those ideals in place but the problem is if you've been surrounded by lower vibrational people and you're finally taking the time to do that self-awareness work and really raise your vibration other people whether they realize it or not and a lot of it can happen on a subconscious level other people are going to realize that and they're going to draw into it and they're going to try and bring you down and so in July 2019 you may face some kind of conflict in with negative forces that are trying to you know steal that light steal that shine from you and so you need to make sure in July 2019 that you're protecting your energy and that you don't fall back to that previous way of being you know where you were feeling bad where you were feeling unhappy where you weren't liking yourself you weren't liking your life you weren't you know happy in your job or whatever x y or z you know you fill in the blank but you don't want to revert back to the to previous mindset when you've been doing so good and working so hard and you found these new beginnings right 
And the King of Wands, you know, this could be saying to me that like, and there is two negative Kings of Cups. And so I feel like the energy in your life is like very masculine. So maybe for some of you, this could be a father figure. Um, this could be a friend. This could be a relationship, you know, like a boyfriend, a husband, who, whoever. Um, I just, or it could even be, of course, a woman who has like really masculine energy, but I get the sense that it's like a, a negative male force in your life, especially because we have the king of wands as well. And you know, when there's two kings that, that says conflict to me, and so you could be someone with a very masculine personality as well. And so your personalities are really conflicting. And you know, this could be internal work, like internal sides of yourself that you have to learn how to integrate it together and that could be something that you're working on but i feel like more than anything you're really fighting external influences but if you keep up on the path that you're going on and stay strong because the seven of wands to me says that you will be you know standing your ground and being defiant you know you're gonna reach the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is all about you know stability security but it is also setting the foundation for material growth and material gain right and so if you're someone who has struggled in the past with feeling worthy and value valuing yourself you know your material abundance has likely been affected as a result of that right and so in july 2019 you're going to probably start finding a new way to make money or start implementing a new way to make money because we have ace of wands and that talks a lot of the time about a new enterprise or a new business and we have the knight of pentacles which is all about growing into money maturity and really putting in the that hard work and for you you might realize that this is not something that's going to happen overnight this may be something that you really have to work on and work towards for a while but you're actually going to feel passionate about it and really being wanting to do that and because we have the six of wands uh, ending your reading in July 2019 you're really going to be getting recognition for what you've been doing you're going to get recognition and praise and you're going to get acknowledgement for you know one probably the healing work you've been doing and the self improvement you've been doing but also you know for this new found way of life in these new creative endeavors that you're creating in July 2000 July 2019 I don't know why I'm struggling to say that so bad but you're also probably going to get recognition for standing up to yourself and you need to remember that recognition doesn't always come in the form of praise from outside forces like the universe can also send you blessings giving you recognition and so you also need to really be open to receiving in July 2019 because I really feel like this is going to be a super positive upswing coming for you this month and we have the joy card and so you may have and because we have the six of wands of course you know you really may be having a time to celebrate right now in july 2019 you may be able to let your hair down spend some time with friends you may just feel lighter more free because you're finally setting those personal boundaries for yourself you're finally changing that mindset around for yourself because we also have the health card that's what also tells excuse me, that's what also tells me that you've been doing self-healing work and you will continue to do so in July 2019, right? And so with the health card also, you may be taking the time to care more about, you know, your appearance as in like you want to start doing like more like skincare or take care of like your hair or your nails or maybe you want to start doing new exercise routines or, you know, maybe you want to try and do new diet diets and I use the word diet so loosely like I really hate that word I need another word for that but I mean like maybe you want to cut down on the amount of like sugar you eat or the amount of processed food you eat or drink more water or you know whatever or maybe you're just like really focusing on manifesting right now so you're like I need to do you know affirmations for this amount of time every day and I need to journal this amount of time every day and yada 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 and so I feel like July 2019 is really going to be a time when you're really turning it around and putting in new routines and really standing your ground and you're really going to you know get some recognition and praise for that so Group four, let me know what you thought about this reading, if it resonated with you, or if it did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time for my next video. All right, group number five. Let's see what we have for July. All right, we have Glamour, 
the four reversed, seven of cups, eight of wands reversed, the sun, and the seven of swords. All right, group five. Okay, I feel like July 2019 is going to be a bit of a transition period or you may already be in a transition period and one of the reasons that I say that is because we have the full reverse and the full of course is always about new beginnings and starting over it but when the full is reversed it really warns that you may be making the wrong choices and really thinking without when the fool is reversed it talks about making the wrong choices but also not thinking of the consequences of your actions and really thinking long term how your plan is really going to affect yourself and really affect others like you're not thinking about like the big picture right now you're just kind of thinking more along with your desires and more with human nature and we have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups is all about temptation right and so you're really stuck in this state of wishful thinking and you really need to be trying to break that in july 2019 because right now you're really going to be faced with a choice so in July 2019 you're going to be coming to a fork in the road and you're either going to have the opportunity to make the right choice or you're going to have the opportunity to make the wrong choice and so with the seven of cups in the full reverse you really need to make sure that you don't let your shadow side or your negative desires really get the better of you and you need to make sure that you're not straying from your highest path because in July 2019 you're really going to be faced with a test and a challenge and it's going to be testing you with temptation and so you're going to have the opportunity that you're going to have something that catches your attention and you could be drawn to that and want to invest your energy into it and this could be a person as in a relationship a friendship this could be a job a career this could be a opportunity that shows up it could be really anything it will have to depend on who's watching this because this is a general reading but it's going to involve something that you desire something that you want but it's going to be something that actually has negative consequences in the long run and so you really need to use your intuition and really think critically right now and make sure in july 2019 you are staying true to your highest self and also we have the eight of wands reverse and the eight of wands reverse can also warn of making a quick decision or making decisions once again without thinking of the consequences without really thinking of how this will affect things in the long run and you may also be someone who is really bad at being patient you may be someone who tends to rush into something and not really think of it maybe some of you watching this are Aries and the problem or Leo's or fire signs of any kind and the problem is is that you can let your passions get the better of you and you can really run away with them without thinking about you know thinking critically about where you need to focus your energy to be your highest best self and we have the Sun card here and so the Sun card is about attainment and it is about success and glory and all those things and so in July you may be actually receiving some recognition you may be receiving praise you may be receiving attention but we have the seven of swords here and when the seven of swords comes around you need to make sure that you are functioning from your highest self you need to make sure that you are not you know because we have the glamour card here you need to make sure that you're not coming from a place of vanity or jealousy or really working from a place of ulterior motives or you know deep desires or negative intent because if you do that karma will come around and bite you and one of the things that you're going to have to realize in july 2019 is that you really can't let yourself i feel like some of the temptations that are going to be 
that you're going to be faced with are going to be very Venus based and so you may be faced with love you know opportunity for money but the thing is you need to make sure that one your love life is vibrating the way that it needs to be and that you're really attracting the love you deserve and setting healthy boundaries for yourself and having that self-respect but also with money you need to make sure that you're getting your money from a high energetic place right so one accepting the amount of money and getting paid what you deserve but also making sure that your job is of value right it makes sure that you're giving something of value to the world that you're not getting your source of income from an energetically weak place and so i feel like in july 2019 you're going to be tempted and you're going to have to overcome that and you know one of the things is if you that some of you may be dealing with this jealousy, this negativity that's going on. It could also be an outside source that's trying to draw your neg your energy away from you. And so you need to make sure that in July 2019, you're really setting healthy boundaries for yourself and really making sure that you're focusing on you and what your needs are. Not so much what other people want or what other people need or how other people feel or how you're trying to make everyone else happy you really need to focus on what's your highest path and how do you get there in july 2019 and if you do that and if you you know overcome this test that the universe is sending to you in july 2019 you'll really be able to come out successful and you'll learn these lessons and you'll grow and you'll get that success and attainment that you have been looking for so if this reading resonated with you or if it did not let me know group five comment down below tell me what your thoughts were also if you want to see more pick a card readings give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time for my next video thank you so much